Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is how to hack a PDF. So what do I mean by hack a PDF? I'm not talking about cracking passwords. I'm talking about getting the contents out of a PDF and using it in video. It's pretty easy to do. And because you're a Creative Cloud user right now, you have uh, a full Adobe Acrobat Pro, which allows you to extract anything out of a PDF. Let's go have a look. So here is a two page simple brochure that uh, I have. And these are the images that I've been asked to uh, get out. So this image here, that one, that one, and that one. And that needs to be brought in and animated in video. So how do we do that? Well, we've got tools over here on the right. And what you're looking for are the document processing tools. And when we open those up, oh, look, export all images right there. Export images. And I chose TIFF. I've already exported these out. You can export them as JPEG, PNG, TIFF, or JPEG 2000. Um, I chose TIFF because it, it's the best quality to go out of. If you save, save it as JPEG, you're going to recompress it. So it's best to keep them as good a quality as possible. If these have already been highly compressed, then it might be tough to do some blow ups and, and things like that. But uh, if they're good quality, if this is a good print production PDF, then you're on your way. Let's go in and bring them in in Premiere Pro. So into Premiere Pro, of course I do my, go to my wonderful media browser. There is the same folder with the footage in it. I'm just going to import those images and there they are. So now when I open this up, my, vid my images are here ready to use. So I'll just select these and drop them into my timeline and they're in here. Now, uh, they don't fit because some of these, the, the orientation obviously uh, is not correct, but you can just go into the effects and scale that image up and then maybe do a pan up. So I'll start from the bottom of the image, go to the beginning, Add a, a position and scale keyframe just in case I do scale this up. Then go over here and do this. And now I've got my little animation going on inside here. And of course, to keep this to a nice natural animation, I'm going to right click on that and ease into that keyframe. Even better than this is I've saved these because you can right click and save a preset. So if I go to my effects and my presets uh, for this one, I'm going to do a quick little 40% uh, out. And now I've got an animation in here. Uh, this next one here I saved as a um, pan up number two. And that now goes panning up. And then the last one was a, a slight tilt up for that one right there. Oh, actually it must have been pan up two on that one. There we go. So there's my animation. Let's jump to full screen and play that back. And within just a couple of clicks, you'll see that I went from uh, an Adobe PDF file out to straight images, import through the media browser, dropped on the timeline, presets inside here. Um, I could literally do this on the phone when somebody sends me a PDF, boom, boom, and next I know I'm uploading this to YouTube and the phone hangs up and I'm already done this job. Of course, don't tell them the secrets of how easy this is if you bail by this kind of a job. So hopefully you found this useful um, and found it informative. If you did, then please click on the uh, subscribe link to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.